Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you to the last session of the day before Rhett's closing comments for you. I do hope that you have enjoyed the counselors only conference here. We've tried to give you a lot of information and the nice thing, the Whova app here, we have recorded everything that has taken place this week. So it will all be available within that Whova app until next year. So you can come back, pull things off. It'll be open to where you can go in and pull documents or rewatch uh, sessions in there again. So uh, it's a pretty nice little platform. So hope you've enjoyed. I'm here today. I'm Nathan Brubaker. I'm host and presenter uh, today. Uh, for this session, and we're going to be talking about support materials for ICAP and more. Uh, basically, I am part of the uh, Career Tech OK Career Guide team uh, for supporting schools with OK Career Guide. I cover the elementary piece normally, uh, the pre K through 12 called Galaxy. I had a presentation on that yesterday. But today I'm going to be looking at some other things. If you're noticing my screen share, this is my life here. I have lots of sticky notes and this is the way I work with lots of things around. So, but we are gonna be looking at a, a place that we have on the web for you. It's called ctyou.org. We just call it CTU, it's our learning management system. But we have a lot of material here. It doesn't seem like much when you just open it up, but there's a lot with inside of it. So I'm gonna kind of walk through that with you and take a look at all that's there. <clears throat> we have all this support material located here to log in. Make it work. There is, there is no login. When you go to the site over, up in the upper right hand corner, there is a login there. But this has been set up that this particular area that you're going to go to doesn't need a login. All you're going to have to do is scroll down and locate our page at the bottom. It's not at the bottom, it's just a little ways down. Counseling and Career Development. And within there, when you open that up, you have two areas. Okay, Career Guide Curriculum and Galaxy Curriculum. Uh, Galaxy is the elementary area and the Okay Career Guide Curriculum. That right now is sixth grade through, oh, uh, a little bit into adult, but uh, there should be a third section within that soon that also includes adult material for OK Career Guide. We're going to look briefly at the elementary stuff. There's a lot of stuff in the elementary side, but 80% of that is Galaxy material. So I'm not going to go over that. I cover that heavily within the Galaxy presentation, but we will look at some of the other things that are available on there for elementary. And then we'll go through the sixth grade through 13th grade material that are on the other one. And how it's broken out into a lot of different areas. So let's look at the elementary. Within the elementary, we have several things that are located within here. And they're broken out into different areas. We have uh, just different grade levels. So items that are appropriate for like K through three or fourth and fifth grade. There's some general elementary stuff as well as goal, sell it, goal setting for elementary students in here. So just some different things. They are laid out and broken out into these type of lessons here, where on the left-hand side, you'll see 
what subject areas it covers, what is the concept, the grade level, national career competency level it is, type of activity it is, and the related occupation. And then within that, it's gonna tell you whatever materials you need, kind of a description of the activity that's gonna take place and an evaluation. If there are any kind of worksheets, those are included with it. This curriculum for all these within each area, as you open it up, this is the fourth and fifth grade curriculum right here. And you'll see there are several little activities within there. And it also out to the side tells you math, language arts, social studies, which areas these would best work with so they could reinforce what's going on in class. One of the things I wanna point out is down at the very bottom, there's this download this folder button. And this is inside every folder. And I'll hopefully I'll say it again, but uh, I usually forget. Basically you click that button, everything in that folder is downloaded to your desktop to where you can decide what you wanna do with it. Then we move into middle school. Middle school, we consider this an OK Career Guide is kind of a pre-ICAP area, a way to get ready so that when they get into the ninth grade, they have a lot of stuff under their belt as far as ready to move into ICAP and make decisions that they've started kind of looking at pathways so that it's not something brand new to them. Within this, we have some ICAP curriculum that's already made up by grade level. This is, we're looking at the seventh grade here. One piece of it is a checklist where they can keep their username and password on, but it's just a checklist of things they can do at this grade level that would help get them ready for the high school ICAP experience. To accompany this, we also have pre-ICAP assignments. And the seventh grade assignments here, there are five different activities within this assignment area here that could be broken out for them to do over time, not all at once. Now, if you have a, I don't know, ours was called pirate time when I taught Putnam City, but a lot of schools have like an advisory time where they work with students doing a variety of things with them. These five assignments are not enough to cover your year with a, an advisory time. So we will look at some other things to go along with this here. Along with that, sixth grade has six activities and eighth grade also has five activities. Another thing that's located within the middle school area is timeline and definitions of work-based learning activities. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit more about this when we get into the high school area because we have a lot of stuff within that too. And once again, within that folder, there are several things within that. Like I said, we'll get there and look at that a little bit more in the high school and download that folder also. We have other curriculum in the middle school. Like I said, those aren't enough to make a full year, but along with that, Cooter has created some curriculum for the middle school and it is very good curriculum. It's very detailed curriculum. Some of that type of curriculum where it basically almost tells you word for word what you need to say, the discussion you need to have, all the stuff there. It starts with just an overview like a regular curriculum would of what it is, the different modules that are in it. And there are nine modules here with this to work with as a lesson plan. And this is what's very, very detailed in here to go along with it. And then it also has a PowerPoint for each lesson in it. And this is what it looks like inside the CTU here with the lessons and the PowerPoints 
And once again, at the bottom, hit the button, it all downloads, you do what you want to with it. And if I haven't said it, it's all free. Cooter also came up with some other curriculum uh, during COVID, when COVID started last year, <laughs> about this time. Uh, their success at home curriculum. And it comes along and it, it has a grade level into it, but it's also, it's a little more abbreviated. It's also set up a little bit better to work with online learning for the students. So this is the teacher's guide here. It comes with a teacher's guide and then a activity sheet that also goes that so the students have something to do and follow with very detailed instructions on what they need to be doing within OK Career Guide or online. And these are the lessons. There are five of those lessons there within that. So you've got the, you, know, you now have the pre-ICAP lessons, you have the direct your future lessons, and then you have the COVID lessons that they've put up, these five lessons here. That's still a little bit less than a year, but wait, there's more. Additional resources and, and best practices is also within the middle school section. And it has several lessons that are similar to those elementary or the in the same format where they've got that left-hand side that tells you all the different details of it. They have the description from the materials you need, the activity, the evaluation, and additional resources such as whatever worksheets you might need to work with. And those are all located in here and they are broken out by classes of different things. So instructional technology, language arts, math, science, social studies, STEM classes. So those are all in there. Plus on top of those, we also have some other activities that are from schools that we have worked with in the past and doing some things and they've said, sure, you can use this. And so from being schools, we have not necessarily lessons, but we have the titles of things. We have some other OK Career Guide instructions in here for middle school, six through eight, and a different activity in there. And those activities tend to grow all the time. So with that, those are the middle school. Now we're going to look at the high school. Excuse me, need to take a break. <clears throat> high school, we are in ICAP territory. And so we have ICAP support material for the high school. Ninth through 12th grade, the menu here of items and folders of items are similar to the middle school and their layout and what they're doing. And then when you get to the ICAP checklist, it is similar too, but now we're looking at a few more things and these are direct things that they do need to accomplish each year within their ICAP, things that they can just check off as they go. And then to accompany that checklist is once again, the assignments list. And like this, we're looking at 10th grade and 10th grade has seven activities, ninth grade six, 11th grade eight and 12th grade seven. Once again, not enough to complete your year, which ICAP doesn't suck up your whole year, but there are other things that we have to go along with that. Once again, Cooter has their direct your future for the high school level. And as I mentioned earlier, it is very good curriculum, very detailed, step-by-step. Step. Starting with the overview, then with the lesson plans, it is very detailed and how it's laid out and then accompanied by PowerPoint slides. And within the Direct Your Future 
there are 11 modules for the high school. And then during COVID, they also did success at home for the high school level two. And within it, there are six lessons for uh, the high school. Well, it's, it's actually broken out into subject areas and there is English, art, uh, CTE, foreign language, human services, math, science, and social studies. And within each of those, there are different numbers of lessons. The largest being English here with six activities. Once again, lays out nicely with a teacher's guide and then an assignment sheet. Once again, this is set up for online learning, things that could be done on their own with minimal guidance where the student can do that. But wait, there's more. Additional resources also on the high school side. And with it, I've actually been getting more additional high school stuff uh, because we are working with if you don't know, the through Career Tech, we offer some uh, incentive grants, and I think they're out right now. I'm not sure exactly when they're due back in, but Career and Counseling, they're part of the Carl Perkins grants. So we work with those schools, and in the end, we get more materials that we can put back on here to show the good things, the best practices that are going on at different schools in those areas. And this is what the best practices lays out. Once again, we have different classes. We have schools being again for their high school area. Uh, More Norman has some things on here, things about money, just a variety of things located here and it grows every day. And then I have some of these other lessons here also that are been uh, updated to OK Career Guide and they are that's that same layout we saw in middle school and in elementary, as far as the lesson and then whatever support sheets that go along with it. And then this one came from uh, across my desk several months back. It's from Canada. And it's uh, just a career planning guide type thing, but it's a pretty neat thing. It's got lots of nicely little activities and it's laid out very nicely. It's not really geared toward any certain software or anything. It's just activities that can take place within a career classroom. Also for ICAP support on the high school side, we have these ICAP things, which aren't necessarily curriculum, but they're just things that kind of help you in doing your counseling and those things. And they're part of the icons and fields that we see uh, when we start talking about the different career areas to follow. And these are within there individually in uh, PMP format where they could be printed out some schools, we talk about it in some of our other trainings, some schools use these as icons over the different classrooms to show which areas they support, which they are part of the bigger map, which is also in there, to uh, show the different areas, the fields being across the top, and then the cluster areas down below as well as several of the State Department of Ed material that they've put out to help guide you in what you need to be doing for ICAP are also located in there for you to easily download. And then the work-based learning tools. Now the work-based learning tools are centered around this initial document here, the timelines and definitions. There are a few more in high school. Some things are more appropriate for middle school. Some things are still appropriate for high school, but they are 
other things in there that are only appropriate for the high school level, such as youth apprenticeships, some of the job shadows and internships. We also have material that will direct you to this other web page, and I'm gonna hopefully take you there live and show you where that's at on our website. But it just has a lot of good information in there as far as implementing work-based learning in your school, child labor laws, myths versus facts, work-based learning videos, and of course the contact for H.L. Baird, who is the head over our work-based learning within uh, career tech. This is that timeline here and it's broken up so that it shows you which activities are they would be best under. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't do things differently or things aren't done differently. These are just recommendations. But then there's also additional sheets that go in and talk about what these activities are. And sometimes people in the past, and I'm, I may be guilty of that as a teacher myself, of saying, okay, we had a guest speaker, but I really didn't do any prep ahead of time. And we really didn't talk about it afterwards. So whatever information that was given probably just whizzed right past those students and was forgotten. So really, that really wasn't a good activity uh, as far as a work-based learning activity. So to help better secure those teachers who are being saddled now or taking on the responsibility of work-based learning in the high school, we have come up with work-based learning toolkits. These are guides for all these different areas listed on the timelines here. And then along with that, within the, the guide, there are different forms and things to fill out, but those are called tools and they are in fillable forms that are separate that could be done online and work with things. And this is what the mentoring one looks like at the bottom is the guide itself. And then these are all the fillable forms tools that go along with mentoring. And it's that way for each of those that are inside there now. And then the last thing on there that I want to talk about with you is uh, for those of you that are working with OK Career Guide and no, you don't want to sit through another training with us just to catch a few good things. There is the OK Guide Career Guide training manual here. And with inside of it, it's a PDF form that's online there. You don't need to download it. You can open it up and the table of contents is set up so that if you just need to know how to explore occupations and, and what that looks like, you can click on that one there and it's gonna take you to those pages. So you don't have to flip through all the pages to get there, it'll quickly take you to that. And then you can easily either download just those pages you need or whatever. So I want to come out of this and go live. Maybe. Okay. Into CTU. And CTU is just that, it's ctyou.org. And that takes you to this page here. And it's very simple. Like we said earlier, you scroll down and here's our career, our counseling and career development. Sorry, we've changed our name and I keep mixing it up there. And it's very simple to go out and look. It doesn't look like much, but then when you open it up, this being the elementary down at the bottom. There's also some training videos in it. And then here's that curriculum for that. And 
And then when I open up the high school side here with the OK Career Guide, it's broken up into middle school and then high school at the bottom. And then all the different things are on here. The other place I want to show you is the work-based learning site on our website here. And it's not as easy to find. That's why over here down in the work-based learning, there is a link that takes you directly to it. But once you get there, you have to go to our home, the about section, state agency division, work-based learning. So rather than doing all that jumping around, uh, I put a link over there, which will take you into it. But this is where you can find all those good things here. Just myths versus facts. You know, if you're getting into work-based learning and you really haven't done that before, you need to kind of know some of those things along with child labor laws are a good thing to know. So you don't get yourself in trouble for doing different things. So this is all there along with HL's contact information there also. So I went through that pretty quick. There's a, there is a lot there. Uh, do you have any questions for me today? Check over my stop share. My contact information is in the chat. So if you need to get a hold of me and ask me about anything, uh, feel free to do that. Other than that, I am finished and you have a little time before Brett uh, gets on with his closing remarks. I thank you very much for uh, setting in and listening. And we'll see you at Brett's presentation. Um, somebody asked, do you think career guide is better or career tech? Career guide is career tech. Uh, career tech pays for okay career guides and we, we sponsor that and offer that to you. So there isn't a better, it's the same. They are one. Any other questions? I know we need to do a better job of letting you know that too. That that could be on us. <laughs> so I thank you for your time. Enjoy enjoy your break before Rhett closes us out.